Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So yay, I got it completed. Oh my goodness me. I won't do that again. I must start writing down. I have got my uh, diary and I must start writing down when I need to do things and put myself a reminder at least a week before I need to do things. But this is my craft buddy crystal art. It's actually called Spring Flowers, uh, which yeah, I suppose they are spring flowers. <laughs> We've got daffodils in. Um, so yeah, it is completed. Uh, it just took me a night to do, which is wonderful. It's got a little hanging chain on it there, so it can be hung up on the wall. Sadly, it did have my least favourite um, ways of uh, connecting it to the hanging uh, to the chain uh yeah these oh gosh they're nail breakers aren't they trying to get that little jump ring over this quite thickish plastic we're about a quarter um of an inch probably there can you see yeah you can see that it's about a quarter of an inch um yeah so quite thick and it did take some doing to get those over there you know you need like three friends and an elephant to stand on it to get it to <laughs> No, 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 I'm kidding. But yeah, it did take a, quite a bit of doing. I'm really pleased with how it comes out. The colours are just so vibrant. And we've got the white ABs, which are around the edge here, and just little bits, just make it pop out that little bit more. And the leaves are all crystals. And in this case, the crystals just blend in with the resin drills. Sometimes crystals can just look so jarry against if that's a word <laughs> against uh, just your normal drills your, your resin or your acrylic drills but in this case i think because these are so shiny and vibrant colors you don't really notice that these are crystals they do just look like a normal drill until you move it or until you walk past and the light crosses it the middles of the flowers as well have got the only special drill one which is the little pale green marquee in the middle there. But yeah, really, really pleased with that. As I say, this is going to my mum and dad for their 65th wedding anniversary present come card. Um, there's always, oh, don't get us anything. What do we want at our age? But you can't not give them something. And I just thought this will be something they can keep and put on the wall rather than just buying flowers as well. Uh, the Pussy Willows are actually, they've got grey on them. So, yeah, that just gives them that off-white kind of look as well, which was surprising. I expected those to be white, and I nearly did do them in like a 3865AB coated. But then uh, I thought, no, the grey looks really good. And it's one thing that Craft Buddy do is the charting, uh, in my opinion, always seems to be really, really good. And this flower has got one, two, three, four... Uh, and then the AB, five different colours on it, on a small little flower like that, just so you get that 3D gradient effect, just makes it pop out. So really, really pleased with this and hopefully they will as well. So yeah, I just need to quickly put my drills away. Uh, this is the card my mum and dad got for their 60th wedding anniversary. Um, there used to be telegrams years ago. People uh, in the UK do get a card, a telegram from the Queen uh, once they're 100 and every birthday afterwards. Uh, and then, yeah, from your wedding anniversaries. I'm not sure if it starts at 60, but certainly this was my mum and dad's 60th wedding anniversary. And yeah, it's just got the little gold tassel on it. And inside it says, I am pleased to know that you celebrated your diamond wedding anniversary on the 1st of June 2017. I send my congratulations and best wishes for such a special occasion. And it's signed Elizabeth R. Now, whether that is actually signed by the Queen, I don't know. It may be or it may not be. But it comes in a really posh envelope as well. And it is sort of especially delivered. It comes as special mail. So there you are. Once um, I get to see the uh, one that they'll receive um, on the, on today on their wedding anniversary, then I will let you see that one as well. Okay, let's get these drills put away. I've got lots to do today. Right, pop that over there. We've got our tray. They're all round drills. Starts in. Rounds. 
This is my uh, Admo Zest for kids at 147 uh, storage system. If you want to pop onto Rebecca's YouTube channel or her website, I always put the links down below if you want to see more about this because I'm not going to take any credit for doing this. It is all Rebecca's idea. I have noticed that some people have actually started selling this system now. Um, but yeah, uh, the first person I ever saw doing it and that I know of was Rebecca Admo Zest. Okay, so let's get these put away. This is number 150. So Craft Buddy are resin drills, but I don't keep my drills separately. I just put them all in the same places. And let me put that one back in there. My rounds are very, very full, so they do tend to uh, not stay stood up, shall we say, when I'm trying to put them away. <laughs> I'm in the bags, you know what I mean. Oh, dear. Right, and 307, which was the lovely bright yellow. Oh, I've had a lot. See, I do like my colours. You can tell I like my colours by which bags I've got the most drills in. <laughs> These and like um, animal and Scotty dog colours of all the ones, the bags that are the fullest with my spares. Once I've got these full, then uh, I will just then donate them um, to charity. Uh, I have a few places that I actually pass my drills on to now. So I don't like waste. I'm a crafter. I'm, I really struggle to throw anything away. So, <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Uh, Millie's out on a walk at the moment. Our neighbour's taking her out for a walk, so she'll be having fun at the moment. Uh, she's absolutely full of it. She's like a spring chicken at the minute. She's just bouncing everywhere, playing everywhere. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Last night. Um, she decided to get every single toy out of her toy box. And believe me, that is a lot. And uh, she came across at Christmas. Um, I don't know whether I put it on camera because it actually plays a Christmas tune. Um, and I think I did put it on Facebook or Instagram. And it got taken off as a copyright strike. <laughs> well, that says 400. <sighs> Helps if you look for 400, Liz. Oh dear, there it is. There's number 400. Yeah, because it plays, I think it's rocking around the Christmas tree or something. And yeah, they took it off as a copyright strike, which is a bit naughty because it, it wasn't me playing the music. It was nearly squeezing the toy and the toy started playing rocking around the Christmas tree. So, you know, it wasn't as if I was deliberately playing. I didn't even think about it, to be fair. But anyway, so I won't be doing that again. <laughs> Fortunately, it wasn't on my YouTube channel. But yeah, it says, this has been removed for copyright violations. And I thought, what has? What have I done? First, I thought, oh, maybe it's the design of the sprout. Or maybe we had something in the background. And then I realised it was the music the sprout was playing. So, yeah, it, it's a soft toy sprout. It's about this big. And it's green and fluffy. And it has little arms. And it's got little feet. And it spins around. And the batteries are inside the middle. So well padded. So Millie can't get the batteries. And uh, yeah, it plays rocking around the Christmas tree. Well, anyway, so last night, it was it's a long time since she's played with it because you know, with it being Christmas, it's at the bottom of a toy box. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That frog's back, Chris. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she, she picked it up by its hand or its paw or its glove or whatever you would call it. Wow, look at that. There's lots of different colours in there. Goodness me, 415 is a very diverse colour range. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and she picked it up by its hand while it started playing. Well, if you've ever seen a Scottish Terrier leap three foot in the air and backwards, and yeah, it was just the funniest thing you've ever seen. Um, if you've ever watched some of the videos where cats jump away from things, it was very cat-like, and she was just... Honestly, it was just so I mean, it wasn't funny for her. She, you know, she did go back and then savage it ruthlessly once um, she realised that nothing was going to get her. But yeah, she just um, grabbed it by the paw to start shaking it about and playing tug. And it started singing. I won't sing. La, 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 la. And she just went, whoo! <laughs> Came and ran behind my legs and looked at it. Well, I just couldn't stop laughing. Honestly, I've never seen a jump so high. It was just so funny. Oh, dear. Silly girl. 
so yeah it's um out and about now and then of course because it's was one of the last things she was playing with it was still on the top of her christmas uh, top of her christmas top of her toy box so she still keeps getting it out and playing with it but she doesn't jump now because she knows it's going to make a noise and uh, whether it's by accident or whether she does it deliberately i don't know but she seems to have figured out that the one paw makes it play music so yesterday um we have uh, our deliveries come, our shopping deliveries. Um, it's mainly like, you know, the big stuff when you're wanting like big packs of toilet rolls and um, we buy cans in cases, you know, drinks, drink cans in cases and things. And I get all that sort of stuff delivered now because with getting hubby's wheelchair in and out the car, we don't have much room. Um, and also, you know, it saves me having to lift it and get it in the car and then out the car. So it just gets delivered to the house now. So I'm... Um, I'm taking the delivery off the guy. Uh, for whatever reason, our supermarket, it's uh, Tesco's in the UK, don't give you plastic bags anymore, which, you know, is fine. Um, 602. Oh, look at that hot pink. Gorgeous colour. Uh, yeah, they don't give you um, plastic bags. And then they started doing tray liners. So as they brought you the tray, it was in a tray liner. Oh, no. We've decided that we're not doing uh, plastic anymore. So it just literally is brought to you to the door in a tray. And then I have to take all of my like shopping bags, you know, like I've got all these bags for life and things and take everything out the tray and put it into bags really quickly. And I try and do it as fast as possible because I always think the poor driver, they're all on time scales and everything, aren't they? And uh, they've got to get to the next one. And yeah, you know, the poor bloke's having to stand there while I take every single item of shopping out of a bag and put it, well, out of a tray and put it into a bag. Um, but anyway, that's another story. It's just one of my pet hates. You know, I know we've got to reduce plastic and everything, but it it's uh, not convenient. And I'm always a bit iffy about how clean the crates are as well. Um, they do seem reasonably clean, but you know, you, you never know what's been in the crate before you get your shopping. I always like to give it a bit of a wipe down and definitely wash my hands after I've uh, handled it all. But anyway, so yeah, back to the story. Tell you, butterfly mind go from one thing to another. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm stood at the door and I'm <clears throat> taking all the shopping out of a crate and putting it into my bags and trying to order it. So I've got like, you know, each cupboard in different bags so that I can just take it to that cupboard and empty it. Try and make my life a bit easier. Try and be organised. Doesn't always work. And uh, Millie decides, oh, she's been and had a look. She always comes out and has a look and says hello to whoever's delivering it, which, you know, and then they always say, oh, isn't she cute? And then it's like five minutes. Oh, look at the dog. And oh, what's her name? And all the rest of it. Because she puts her cute act on. You know, oh, look at me. Butter wouldn't melt. Then uh, she hears uh, a cat on the television because she's mad on television, mad on adverts. And she knows all the music to the adverts. So if there's a, a, an advert with a cat on and she hears the music to that advert, she knows. And then she's at the television ready to start barking at it. Crazy dog. Anyway, this advert comes on. She hears that there's going to be a cat on the telly. So she goes flying back into the room, grabs hold of the sprout and grabs it by its hand. And it starts playing Christmas music. And I'm trying to sort of like keep my cool and just, you know, get my shopping out. And this driver's just stood there looking at me as if to say, did you know you've got Christmas music playing in June? <laughs> well, May, as it was then. Um, yeah, it was May yesterday. And uh, yeah, and I'm trying not to laugh because I suddenly realised what he could hear. And I'm trying not to mention it. And he's sort of like looking at me. And uh, not only did she do it once, but once it stopped, she grabbed it again and did it again. And I just thought, this guy's going to get back to his depot and say, well, you'll never believe it. I've been to a house that's been playing Christmas music today. <laughs> oh dear. The things that happen in this house are just absolutely manic. I just can't believe it. Yeah. Oh dear me. Christmas music in blinking May. <sighs> Good old Millie. Oh, it's just started absolutely chucking it down. 
it's like a stair rod just coming straight down because there's no wind it is really really heavy i can hear it bouncing fortunately it's coming this way so you can't hear it on these windows as otherwise i might have had to stop filming because you wouldn't have been able to hear me we had a really bad storm yesterday as well um thunder and lightning and apparently there was hailstone uh, in the city centre uh, one of my friends in the city centre uh, just texted me to say it's hailstoning it's may and it's hailstoning oh maybe that's why we've got christmas music <laughs> We're having a Christmas exceptionally early this year. Oh, dear me. Right. 672, another greyish colour. These were all the highlights. But, yeah, that was fun. But the weather's been just, as I say, in the UK, if you ever come to the UK, you need wellies and a brolly. Uh, that's Wellington boots and an umbrella. Uh, and then you probably need um, shorts and a t-shirt or shorts and a bikini or something because it goes from boiling hot is that 814 yeah 814 i was thinking if that's 614 what have i done now uh, yeah oh that's definitely 814 um yeah it goes from boiling hot to minus goodness knows whatever degrees all in one day uh, and we can get wind and when it's windy it's like yeah don't eat an ice cream when you haven't got your hair tied up because you'll just end up with ice cream covered in hair <laughs> speaking from experience um <laughs> but yeah so all right we are going looking um at cars again today hopefully uh, if the weather's okay right i just need to grab box two i've got a few to put into box two Right, box two is a little bit neater because there's a little bit less in it. So where are we? Eight, nine, one. Okay. Oh, that was a really vibrant cherry red. Let's get this one put away. I've got the queen smiling at me from the corner of my desk. Yeah, there's all sorts going on for this Jubilee weekend. So that's going to be fun. Uh, when the coronation took place, uh, my dad was actually doing his national service, would you believe? Uh, in the UK in those days, every, oh, well, every man, I think, unless you were excluded, had to go uh, into the one of the armed forces. Ooh, look at that colour, gorgeous. Um, and I think it was two years and you just got paid a very, very basic wage. So I know my mum and dad were saving up to get married. And uh, oh, are they married? I know my mum and dad. It put them into a bit of hardship because you know my dad wasn't getting his normal wages. He was just getting his national service wages. Um. So yeah, was it fifty two? So yeah, my mum and dad were just saving up to get married. So you know they had to put it on hold for a little bit because obviously they couldn't save quite so much money. Uh, they used to walk everywhere rather than taking buses and things. So that they could save up to buy a house and do all those kind of things for getting married. Um, yeah, how days have changed. Gosh, you can't even buy a car for the price that they paid for their first house. In fact, you can't even buy a second hand car for the price that they paid for their first house. But obviously, their wages and everything were a lot less as well. It's all pretty relative, I suppose, um, as to what they earned then as to what things cost right nine four six this gorgeous bright orangey color love this love this color okay pop that one back in there yes yeah, so my dad was actually in the parade for the um coronation yeah oops trying to yeah he was in the raf so he was doing national service in the raf so he got to be, he's one of those people when <coughs> you see the uh, carriage going past. Gosh, I do excuse me. My throat's really froggy this morning. I need more cups of tea. Tea is the order of the day. Uh, so yeah, if I get a magnifying glass out, I might be able to see it. <laughs> In amongst the thousands and thousands of people stood there on parade. Yeah, when the Queen uh, was uh, crowned, got... Uh, she became the Queen of England. 
can't believe it. Three, seven, seven, six. Right, we're on to the three, three, uh, three, seven. So look for three, seven, and then look for 76, Liz. That's the easiest. Oh, and it's at this side. 77, 76. Okay. Yeah, lots of uh, memories for my dad over the years. And then obviously he got married. Um, I'll put a couple of little photographs of my mum and dad. My mum did actually make her wedding dress as well and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's funny, when I look at it, when I looked at it as a child, I used to think, ooh, how old-fashioned. But now, looking at it, it's such a classic style um, that I think if anybody wore it today, that they would think, wow, this is wonderful, it's gorgeous. Everything seems to come full circle. Um, I remember when I had uh, my wedding to my first hubby, um, we had the big white wedding and in those uh, when I got married it was all the big meringue dresses and everything so yeah looking at those now they look far more old fashioned than uh, my mum's wedding dress does. <laughs> Sadly I'm a lot uh, taller than my mum um, and a lot bigger than my mum as well. Um, we're all very different shapes. My mum, my sister and I, I think my mum's a pear shape. My sister's an hourglass shape and I'm a, an apple. I'm just round. <laughs> but I am tall, so I can get away with that extra cake sometimes. Although, as I've said, my clothes are a little bit too tight at the minute. I do need to uh, start thinking about cutting down. But, yeah. I keep treating hubby, you see, as well. This is my excuse. I keep, uh, we go out for coffees and things to get him out the house to try and cheer him up to get him doing things. And, uh, yeah, if we go out, I mean, it's just rude not to have, like, a cake or something or a biscuit while you're having your uh, cup of tea while you're out, isn't it? You know, like afternoon tea. So, right, they're the white ABs. Let's get on to those. Let's do, and I'll get my drawer out with the ABs in it. This is from my little art dot storage drawers. And I've got lots of B5 200 whites, which is the one that's got the least in because there's not many to go in here. I believe it will be this one. I'm not quite sure why these stickers don't want to stick to these lids. They keep curling. I wonder if it's getting a little bit warm in this room and it's making them curl. Anyway, they're fitted in there, so that's fine. Maybe I'll take them off and put some washi tape underneath. Maybe the stickers will stick better to washi tape, but... That looked great. That's all my AB round colours. And then I've got another drawer with AB squares. I do like my ABs. Right, these are my specials and craft buddy uh, items. So craft buddy have a number on the back of cards. And also they have numbers. If you can see there, all these bottom ones here. Oops. Helps if you actually put it in. Sorry about the shadow. It's a bit dark as I say it's chucking it down with rain uh, all these here have a number so I'm going to put these into the craft buddy number order these are all just the crystal gems so what's the first number that we've got is number 25 so all my craft buddy ones are down this side so let's see if we've got a number 25 and we have so that's number 25 so this is where it works out well because I can put number 25 into the bag that says 25. So I'm not messing about making new bags and having to look to see where it's going to go and what colour it matches to, because I know, because I've got the number of it. Yay! So I do try to be organised, doesn't always work. <laughs> and have we got a 26? We have a 26, yay! This is because I've done quite a few cards and quite a few things with flowers on from Craft Buddy. So I guess they use sort of similar, or the, well, the same colours. They're not similar, are they? They are actually the same colours. Okay. So that's that one. The number's just there, look. Um, which is, what I did was photocopy this and put it onto the bottles. So rather than having to keep referring to that, because I've got the numbers on the bottles, I can just look at the number and I know where they've got to go. And then this one is number 29. So do we have a number 29? And yes, we do. Yay. 
so that was an easy uh, doing no more having to get more bags out to do anything we have them all already excellent was the cry so 27 28 29 all right gosh i can hear that rain i don't know whether you can hear it but it really is just pounding down right now this is a special this is a marquee and it's an m57 so let's have a look and see if we've got the marquee m number 57 don't have many of them so oh 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 no no is that no that's number 16 24 27 no so we haven't got number tw uh, 57 so we need to make a little bag for that one okay let's grab a bag let's grab one of these little bags so that's another number with uh, that on okay oops so that's those all kitted down right let me grab a label so we want a round label and a pen and we want and as i say sorry about the glare oh 57 I'm sorry about my writing. Let me just apologise for everything in this video. <laughs> and then we'll put that. Uh, let me have a look. Behind number 43 and in front of number 62. Yay! Just to prove I do know numbers, really. <laughs> oh, I know what I need to do. Not doing my own little... Uh, thing properly am I so I need to look in green marquees and see if there's any of these in um, my sort of spares that I haven't got labels on so yeah what I'm trying to do is get all of my spare gems labeled so that I can put them away in a numbered bag match them all up that way so I just need to look with small marquees this colour but in small so let's have a look so, no, they're all teardrops. That's a teardrop. Is it that? No, that's a very dark colour. And, oh, is it that colour? No, no. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look. That's why I like the little bits of white card sometimes, because, oh, I don't know. What do you think? I think they're the same colour. Do you think they're the same colour? I do think they're the same colour. So now I can get rid of this bag and use it again on something else and put them together with these. So yeah, that's one less bag in the unnumbered side, which is really good. This is what I need to do. I've just got to remember to do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, lovely. Right. So we'll pop those back away in there, in the greens. And put that on one side. And then we're all done. Okay, well, thank you ever so much for uh, coming along and listening to this. Uh, if you've enjoyed looking at this with me, uh, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, then if you leave them in the comments down below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But as usual, thank you ever so much for stopping by. It really is appreciated. And if you want to subscribe and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when all of my next videos come up. So thanks for coming along and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.